Good day guys, my name is Mahilan and in today's video we are going to do a home tour. I am in one of my friend's place today in Darwin, Northern Territory, Australia. He has a farmhouse with a lot of plants, trees, birds and animals. That is the property we are going to watch in today's video. If you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon and without further delay, let's jump into the video. This is the entrance to the property. Look at the gate guys. It is specially designed and there is a bull's head on it. That's my mate Steve. Hello Steve. Hey buddy, how you going? Good, how are you? Say hi to my friends. Hello everyone. His place got a lot of flowering plants, trees, and you can see he got sprinklers to spray water for grass too. This is a coconut tree at the entrance of this property. Few palm trees are also there. Now, Steve is going to show his property around. Let's walk with him and have a look. You can see a beautiful orange plumeria tree. This tree right here is called African Chilrup and Steve is saying it can grow up to 30 to 40 meters. Look at this plumeria tree. It is having pink color flowers. He also got a poinsettia tree over his house and as it is flowering season, it looks really very beautiful. The name of this tree is called as Strangler Fig. You can also see few other coconut trees this side. This is also another kind of fig tree. You can see there are a lot of plumeria trees in Steve's place. Steve said he put all these fences just new. There are a few lime trees as he loves them. Let's go and have a look at them. This one right here is called as Caucasian Lime. This one is called Maya Lemon. Steve says this one struggles a bit to grow and he is going to dig this out and plant in some other place. This one here is called as Cafe Lime. Steve says the fruits from this tree taste not so good but the leaves are very useful for cooking and it brings some aroma to the cooking food. This one is West Indian lime. Steve says he got four of this kind and also he gets like 500 limes per year from each Indian lime tree. He also has papo, lemonade and pineapple in his property. As he says, he got 7 pineapple plants and got 4 pineapples already from them. In 
this place, Steve is going to plant more and more plants. He also got a garage in his property. These two are the Indian limes which yield him nearly 1000 fruits a year. Look, there is also an orange tree here. There are a few garden beds in Steve's property where he is planning to grow some flowering plants and vegetables. Wow, look at this mango tree guys. Steve says it is 9 years old and he doesn't remember the breed's name of this mango tree. Look at the fruits from this mango tree. It looks colorful and Steve says they are tasty too. He is planning to do some mango chutney from all these mangoes. This one is a mandarin plant and got few fruits on it. I reckon Steve got a lot of plants in different colors. This is a passion fruit in his place and it's almost dead. All these are just weed and among the weed you can see a few chili plants. There is also a pumpkin plant here in Steve's place. Look at this guys, this is a chicken house which was installed by Steve to breed his chickens. This chicken house is having a cool setup for water supply for chickens. Let's go inside and have a look. As most of the chickens are roaming outside now, there is nothing much inside this chicken house. Steve says he got three roosters and around nine chickens. This is a setup to feed chickens. Flies will come here attracted to this meat piece, stay here and lay maggots. Maggots are rich in protein and good food for chickens. There is also tamarind tree here. Look at this tree. The name of this one is called Black Sapote and we can get chocolate from this tree. These are the chickens belong to that chook house. Steve is having an external kitchen here. This is that kitchen guys.
I reckon Steve is having this external kitchen just to make sure he can make some food even his wife kicks him out of the house. Hey Steve, Yo. so even your wife kicked out of your house, you can stay here and cook your food, isn't it? This kitchen is having barbecue setup and a pizza oven. A good place to make some dinner in the evenings and chill out. Alright guys, that's the end of this video. Thanks for Steve to take us on a tour around his property. I hope you guys would have enjoyed this video and if you did so, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon. I reckon Steve wants to say something to you guys. Okay Steve, what are you going to say? I'm going to say thank you very much everybody for coming and have a look at my property and I would like you to subscribe to Travel With Mahid because he's a good black of dude. Always. Uh, Steve, I'm saying that uh, I'm very happy and uh, I'm very thankful to allowing me to come in and take a video. So we will we'll meet somewhere soon. In yeah, evening. absolutely. Definitely. Good yeah. friend of mine, really good guy. Yeah. Really, we work together and love working with this good guy. Always. See you guys. Thanks for the Northern Territory.